So let's just uh, find out what's inside the box. Very premium looking box, in fact. Jing jing jing. <laughs> there you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, production unit of Kaiyuan RU7, the successor to RU6. And in fact, this is uh, supposedly to be a one bit, one, one bit deck. Sorry, <laughs> it is uh, not an R to R. So we have here balance port 4.4 mm and 3.5 mm single ended. The front is uh, definitely signature Kain style. And this very premium looking USB type C. Okay, so let's find out what's this. what else is inside the box. Uh huh, very interesting. See here, this is a leather casing. Very nice, very premium looking. And we have here what seems to be like perhaps uh, some sort of padding protector which can be used and we have here one USB-C to USB-C cable and of course uh, an adapter here to connect to USB-A and that's it pretty much that's it so let's just uh, fire this thing up I have my phone here which is uh, so, uh, Xiaomi Xperia uh, Xiaomi me 90 sorry so usually the Kain logo goes here and in fact i'm just going to use my sennheiser hd 650 here to test this ru7 for the first time okay let's just connect like this what is this all right it's firing up You have it looks like uh are you sick as well and for this one i just gonna click cancel and i just gonna use hebe music as usual i'm gonna open up hebe music first thing first because uh this ru7 uses uh, independent volume adjustment here as you can see and this is the function button so what i will do just uh on setting here gonna use uh, this USB exclusive audio access and performance mode and then of course I just gonna lock uh, all volume so that everything will be controlled on this dongle okay let's just uh, fire up some test music here as usual wow you hear that it's already very loud what's the volume on it's 100 by default it was 100 by default so i'm just gonna turn it down to perhaps like around 17 and just gonna put on my headphone here Sixty-six, sixty-five. Okay, 64 is the, oh no, I need lower, 60. Very powerful, I would say. No, I need it lower. 50. Yes, 53 is the sweet spot for driving Sennheiser HD 650, which is 300 ohm. Okay, not an easy headphone to drive. And so, uh, let's see, this is running on 96 kilohertz uh, PCM now, of course. So let's just find out the setting here. Gain is high at the moment. Okay. Let's just have a look again. Low. High. And then. Output is phone out. Backlight 30 second. Just going to adjust the backlight a bit more. A bit. Continuously on. Yeah. 
And wow, wow, wow. This is the sort of sound that I love. <laughs> Nothing less from Kain. Definitely analog sound. And in fact, as I am listening now to Sennheiser HD 650, by the way, which is again supposedly to be driven by a full-size headphone, as you can see just now, the loudness itself would just at around 55, even 50 out of 100. Okay, that is uh, really powerful. And I think most importantly is that the headroom itself, it feels wide and open, smooth, resolving. So definitely that's first impression on, only, okay? Okay, just stay tuned to my channel and give me uh, around one or two weeks time so that I will have ample opportunity to test this RU7 extensively. And then uh, we'll see how does it, you know, pit against the rest of the competition in Dongle Madness.